We will take a moment to acknowledge all indigenous and first people of land and space in which we live and breathe. For our community at Highland College, we recognize that we are on stolen and occupied Duwamish, Coast Salish, Makoshut, and Pialup lands. And we want to thank all relations and tribes today as we prepare to hold space as a community. We recognize that all of us join this conversation from different locations through Zoom. And so let us acknowledge the indigenous and first people of land and space in which you currently occupy. Furthermore, we respectfully acknowledge the enslaved people, primarily of African descendants who provide exploited labor on which this country was built with little to no recognition. Today, we are indebted to their labor and labor of many black and brown bodies that currently work in the shadows of our collective benefit. I would now like to pass our virtual mic to our main host, Tatiana Misiak, who will introduce our student panel for today's program. Hello, everyone. Hi, Highland family. My name is Tatiana Matsuk, and I use she, her pronouns. I'm the Chief Program Advisor and Peer Navigator Coordinator here at Highland College. This morning, I have a pleasure of introducing you all to our student speakers who have a huge influence on our team this year, Disability Joy, a mindset of unapologetic liberation. Today's presenters are former and current Achieve students and a peer navigator who helps students to navigate campus and college system. A little bit about Achieve program and what we do and uh, also community employment services. So you know what we do here at Highline and how we help our students. So Achieve program is a comprehensive post-secondary transition program that includes credit and non-credit classes, intensive advising, involvement in campus life, community-based internships, and assistance with job placement. All Achieve students work with an intensive advisor and career specialist to draft and implement a comprehensive individual plan for college and career, specific courses, campus activities, and work-based learning experiences are determined based on skills needed for the student to achieve his or her or their identified goals. ACHIEVE is partially funded as one of the transition and post-secondary programs for students with intellectual disabilities through the Office of Post-Secondary Education serving as a model demonstration program for Washington. Community and Employment Services. Community Employment Services is committed to recognizing the value and promoting the contribution of people with intellectual disabilities into the workforce. Our staff of skilled professionals work to connect businesses to qualified skill applicants and to create jobs that deliver measurable benefit to everyone involved. We work with job seekers to assess and develop their skills, find and successfully retain jobs. So today's presenters are part of the ACHIEVE program and some of them already graduated from Highline, but the joy that they found here is still with them. And the, that joy keeps them on the top uh, of the leaders and the, on the top list, the community leaders. And they always volunteer and spend their time sharing their experience and sharing that joy with other people with disabilities and inspire them to fight, fight for their rights and to work on achieving their goals. I will let our student speakers to introduce themselves and we'll start with the panel questions. So are you guys ready? Introduce yourself, pronouns, and what community or identities you're bringing into this place. Are you current or graduated Highland College student? Who goes first? Mahat? 
You're muted, Mahat. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Yeah. The most common technical, thing on Zoom problems. for the last two years, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> Okay. Go uh, ahead. Hello, friends, and it's great to ha it's great to see you all here, wherever you may be watching. My name is Maha Tahir, and uh, I use he and him as, pron as pronouns. And I am the son of a refugee from Somalia. And and I really want to talk about today, like how like how many immigrant families they don't have enough resources for in a, for their loved ones who have disabilities. And I'm also a current and a student here at Highline College. I'm working to graduate with a computer science degree. And, and it is so wonderful to be here as we conclude a week that is dedicated to highlighting disabled people and their stories of success. Awesome. Austin? Aloha, everyone. My pronouns are he and him. I am wearing a blessed polo and my background is a picture of Hawaii and I'm happy to be here and uh, shout out to everyone on the call and it's going to be a good presentation. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Juliana. Hello, I'm Juliana Plummer. I go by she, her, hers, um, if I said that right. <laughs> Um, I am a current student at Highland College, uh, and I'm getting my bachelor's uh, degree for Integra Design. And also, I'm a graduate from a CHI program in 2018 and a graduate for uh, visual communication as a associate's degree in science, uh, in science. And currently, I'm working as a lab tech uh, tutor, um, tutor for arts and design program. Oh, Lanika. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lanika Hall. Pronouns I identify with would be she and her, and some identities I bring to this space. I am a mom, a college student, a peer navigator for Achieve, and a lifelong learner. Um, the program that I am in is the Bachelor of Youth Applied Science degree, and this is my second to my last quarter. Thank you. Joey. All right. Um, hi. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm happy to be here. So um, my name is Joey Beltran. I am 21 years old and I go by uh, he, him. I am a, a Mexican American and a lifelong learner. Thank you so and oh uh and I am a graduate Highline College student. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, next question. What brought you to Highline? What sparked you to look for your passion at Highline and who helped you? So for me and uh, how I got to Highline is a very interesting journey. I got here through an amazing organization who helps in a, folks of color and immigrant families like to help them gain resources for disabled people and their loved ones. And that organization is called Open Doors for Multicultural Families. And uh, I was hoping to bring uh, one of the uh, staff here, one of the staff members here today, but he couldn't make it unfortunately. So I just want to Say a shout out to him. His name is Moses Perez, and he's the advocacy. He's the program manager for the advocacy and civic engagement division. So shout out to him because he's he's really working hard to and, uh, fight for resources, fight to gain resources for disabled uh, people who come from immigrant families. And what sparked my passion is like I want to take what I've learned here at Highline and apply it to and uh, what I'm gonna do worldwide. And that's really the goal here is to help in uh, our communities like like and uh, better understand like and uh, like these these disabilities are real and trying to get rid of the stigma behind it. Awesome. 
Thank you. Mahad. Okay, Austin. Well, what brought me to Highline, what sparked it, I wanted to uh, go to college and experience that life. And um, I'm gonna talk about that more in my story. So stay tuned. Okay, Juliana. What brought me to Highline was actually, I was introduced to, from a DVR program, it's, um, a program that helps uh, people with disabilities to find a job or keep a job. So I was introduced to uh, a CHI program and which a CHI, a CHI program led me to introduce to Highland College. So. Great. Monica. Hello again, everybody. Uh, my journey actually started, I was a barista and coffee master at Starbucks. And what I discovered there is I love being around people. I love being around particularly kids and youth and young adults. And my other passion is I love to learn. I can't get enough. So I knew I needed to do something more. And that's what brought me to Highline. So for me, it's not what got me there, but what I found at Highline. And what Jim Quick says, he's a motivational speaker, self-taught brain genius, and uh, someone who also has a uh, learning disability, is he says this, I am looking for inspiration and instruction. And that's what I found at Highline. I am surrounded by inspiration from staff, from all students at Highline, and great instruction. This is what has kept me at Highline. And through inspiration and support, that from students and all staff members, whether it's professors, um, different staff at Highline, that, that has been my support system and my help at Highline. And Joey? Wanted to thank, um, hi again. <laughs> uh, one of the things that brought me to Highline College is learning how to be more confident in college campus. What, sp what sparked me to look for my passion at Highline College is to be explore my interest in archaeology, world religions, uh, communication, public speaking, and singing. There were many people who helped me at Highline College classes. Some of them are instructors who helped me a lot during the class time, and they helped me uh, to develop my passions. Peer navigators helped me, Tatiana helped me, and all the classmates helped me become a successful college student. Thank you. Great. And next question. Hey, next question. Hello. Here we are. Is the joy that you got at Highline still with you? Is it growing or is it gone? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> right, for me, okay, thanks, Tatiana. Thanks so much, Tatiana. Well, for me, and since I am a, I'm a freshman at Highline, I would say it's too early to tell. Yeah. Not yet. Maybe. But over time, I will have a, a more, more specific answer. Right, we're looking forward for that. Austin, how about you? Absolutely, it's st the joy is still with me, never going to go away. And uh, I'm a bird and thunderbird until the very last ride. Thanks. Juliana? Um, um, since I started Highline, what actually got me the joy was not only learning to get the opportunity to take classes I'm interested in and stuff, it's the community that brings me so, so much joy over the years. That they make me feel inclusive, they make me feel welcomed, and it's good to be part of the com uh, community. Um, and it's also cool meeting different people with backgrounds and fields and um, and while was along the way, I was able to gain the experience and how important it is to be part of the community as well. So that was, and yeah. it's still, 
even though I'm at this moment struggling with classes, but they all they always remind me the joy of what is being part of the Highland community. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, Bree. Monica. My heart just swells for Highline. The joy that I have for Highline is still and always will be growing. Even six years later, I, I just can't get enough. Um, as Juliana was saying, this, this we're a community and it's just, it's so empowering, inspiring, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. Jolly. The joy that I found at Highline is still with me and it is growing. To me, it's been an awesome time to be alive, uh, going to college, doing schoolwork assignments in classes and getting good grades. I'm more confident and independent. I make my own decision and I know what I want for the future. I really enjoy being in Highline College for three years. It's Thunderbirds for life. <laughs> Yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So how do you share your joy that you got at Highline with others? If it's still growing, it's still with you, like what do you do with that? Well, in order for me to share joy, you, you have to stay positive and upbeat, even if in, uh, even if in uh, events, even if unfortunate events do happen, like stay positive, like talk to, talk to others. If, and, uh, if you're having, if you've done something great, spread the word. Mm -hmm. Austin, how do you share your joy with others? Well, for the future um, student and the future folks who are in college, um, spread the joy and uh, put the puzzle pieces together properly. There's always uh, room for improvement and you can uh, put the right puzzle pieces together and the joy is gonna be with you no matter what. So that's how spread the aloha and spread the joy, so. Yeah, I think we should uh, clarify the joy itself right now, because I know you guys were preparing, you know, for this panel and uh, we know that we have limited of time and uh, uh, we have five speakers. So I feel like you just cut your uh, speech a little bit and uh, let's clarify for the audience who don't know about like, what joy you got at Highline. So they just mentioned what is that joy for you? What you learn or what changed, you know, uh, since you started the Achieve Program at Highline? What, what, what is the joy for you? What you got, what you call it joy? Like what it is for you, the, the, the stuff you got at Highline. So Austin, what is that that you share right now? So what did you learn or what is joy for you? I learned that uh, people, you can have a lot of people in your circle, but you can still expand um, with the joy and the uh, happiness. And uh, if I'm answering the question properly, um, what got me and how others to Highline? Uh, being a, able to graduate with a fantastic, wonderful program and uh, graduating the class of 2015 and having a diploma to look at in my history and things like that, so. Mm -hmm. But if you think about yourself just at the beginning of the program, the just time when you just entered a new program and applied to Highline College, and then, and then you compare yourself at the beginning and now, or like after you graduated Highline, do you see any difference? Did you change? Did you get something? What I is that? I noticed a big difference because uh, in the beginning, I didn't know where I wanted to go. And uh, I went to a whole bunch of other, visited a whole bunch of other places before I came to Highline. So I'm happy where I'm at in life today and I'm gonna keep chugging along. So that's, you have to keep chugging along because at mm -hmm. the end of the tunnel, it's gonna be light. So 
have to keep in keep your head up and stay positive. So. Okay, so it's like you uh, you learn what do you want to do for life and like yep. who you are. And uh, you became more confident, I see. I remember you. <laughs> I was your key navigator <laughs> at the time. I was student worker. And uh, I remember that you were kind of shy. And now you're like very popular. It's and okay for people to be what, shy because they get out of their shell and their bubble. So. Mm -hmm. Great. And what do you do for life? There again. And what do you do? Where do you work? I'm going to put add that to the story after. So. Okay, great. Okay, then. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, thank you, Austin. So, Juliana, how do you share your joy that you got at Highline with others? Hmm, to be honest, I just just be myself who I am, and also to encourage others to be themselves as well, and to share their their life and their um, joy on the campus and stuff, and um, make them feel more welcome to in the community. So that's what I will share. Just be yourself and. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. You're so friendly. <laughs> and I know that. And you know, always uh, I can feel that joy from you because you really want everybody around you to be happy and welcome to Highline College and people can feel it. And thank you. Thank you so much for that, Juliana. And Lenika, oh. I know how you share the joy because you're a chief navigator and you're you do a lot for our students, but I want to hear from you how else, if, you know, besides peer navigator job, how do you share your joy? Or maybe not besides, but at uh, the same time. Sorry, I just <laughs> jumped in because I know how much you do for our students. Lenika is super helpful and she puts all her time and effort and uh, she worries about our students to be successful and just done. Uh, delayed with their assignments and uh, we're really uh, lucky to have her in our team. So Lenika, how do you share your joy that you got at Highline with others? Oh my goodness. Well, my joy for Highline, it started, like I said, over six years ago and how I share this joy that I got at Highline with others is I really truly believe that everyone has an unlimited potential. And if I can do anything to share what Highline has done for me, whether it's helping you, maybe it's just helping someone find a class or, you know, just sitting and having lunch with you or anything. I just want everyone to realize you have an unlimited potential and Highline's here to help you find your way. Highline is a school where you matter, where you are valued. And you will learn that everyone's a leader. We are just a leader in our own way. Thank you. Yeah, Lanika, great. Thank you. And Joey, how do you share your joy that you got at Highline with others? Well, I would like to tell you all, uh, I share my joy by participating in different presentations to inspire people who have difficulties with going to high to college i tell them my story i share my experience so they can see that it does not matter if you have a disability or not if you work hard on getting what you want you will get it there are always people who are ready to help you Yay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, Thank especially you. at Highline, right? The yes. staff and instructors and everybody at Highline, so supportive, so supportive. We are lucky to be here. And next question, how do you handle self-care? And what are you doing in this environment to maintain balance? Yeah, and Mahad is ready to answer. All right, here we go. And then, and how, so the real, so how I handle self care is that, and uh, I always believe in this philosophy. Like we have to take care of ourselves before we can take uh, uh, take care of others. And that means like checking on your health, both physically, ment and mentally, emotionally too. Like during these tough times, and uh, like and. Uh, 
it was especially difficult for disabled people like me and for and others because we couldn't get like an, uh, our resources are and uh, to help us. So I always think I always think to myself, am I okay? Am I okay physically, mentally, and emotionally? Because it's very important to check on yourself, especially during like in the times of an uh, of uh, unfortunate events. Yeah, but if you uh, realize that you're not okay, so you're asking yeah. yourself, Get "Am help. I okay?" and he's like, "Oh, I'm not okay." So how? Get what help. do you do then? Get help. Oh, awesome. From and the resources, go online, find some resources, check in with a friend. Because and because this is a big problem in this country, and in some respects worldwide too, like. We are not giving enough resources and uh, for mental health. Okay, great. So, but do you know about any resources uh, for students at Highline College? Highline. Or do you know how to find it and where to find it? I know a great. I like I said at the top. I got here through an organization mm -hmm. and. Uh, and this organization can help you find the resources, and I, and I'll and I will and uh, put this in the chat. Their website. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Term. Yeah, but the the highline we also have some great student resources, right? That's right. Check yeah. out and uh, check out achieve and uh, check out check in with Tatiana and she will help <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you handle that. Yeah, check with me and or with counseling services. That's just right. Like, right. And yeah. uh, if you have an anxiety, especially I think a lot of students have anxieties before midterms, tests, right? Or finals. And the finals week is very stressful, can That's be very right. stressful for students. Uh, Make sure you check in with counseling services and your advisors and mentors or even instructors, just talk to them. That's and right. they will That's be right. happy to help you. Like, don't just stay alone. Just tell your instructor, I'm having an anxiety because my exam is coming. So they know how to fix it like in a second. That's right. They're very good with that. And yeah. then just, just talk about that. You're right. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, just talk and about I it. Also, and I also posted on, uh, on the chat the number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Like, like, give them a call if you if you like feel like and if you're thinking about suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about doing suicide, give them a call. Right. And they'll right. help you. So there are so many things in life that you can right explore right and uh, we have we come to this world. And we leave this world anyways, right? We don't have control of that. So someday we all will be in another place, right? So just, and there are so many things to explore and try and enjoy in this life, right? So if you feel like you don't have that joy inside of you anymore, just ask for help. That's why all those people are paid and they study for years and years and years, uh, you know, to be able to help in people when they, have those moments like we all have like hard moments in life right so and they're so helpful resources we have at highline and uh, as you said if you just even like you google it if you call your friend or say hey what should i do or call for me like you know call someone i need to talk to someone and just talk about that because there are so many interesting things in joy in this world too to to try and to benefit of i like how you think Mahat. Right. thank you for sharing I that i appreciate you tatiana yeah and austin how do you handle self-care and what are you doing in this environment to maintain balance thank you for the question tatiana so i stay positive if, if i'm feeling that my the anxiety is popping on um i go reach out to um people in my circle support, reach formal 
I try to uh, reach out to people as I can to get help. And uh, I stay positive and I listen to music to keep the heart flow, not high on stress, so, but to keep it low on stress because I don't want stress in my body. Well, no one wants stress to be stressful. And I uh, stay positive and uh, keep on going and smiling because I know that we're going to get through this. And the way I maintain ba uh, balance is uh, I write down things I have to do and what makes me happy and stay positive because positive that is the key to life and keep on going. Never stop. Just keep on staying strong. Keep on pushing and you'll get there eventually. If you need help, go to your people and go to your college, friend, pal, partner, whichever it may be. They're still going to be here no matter what and keep on staying strong. And that's my message on how I maintain balance. Thank you. Well, great. <clears throat> great way to maintain your balance. And Juliana, how do you handle self-care? I know, I know it's hard. And we always talk about that with Juliana. And we always suggest students to take care of they, themselves. And we have issues with that, right? As a college employees. So we always <laughs> remind each other, take care of yourself, take care of yourself. And Juliana, has some uh, great tips for you guys. I know. All right, sure. All right. where to start? <laughs> <laughs> well, from my experience of doing self-care is actually just take breaks and do something that helps ease off the attention, tension and frustration. Like for example, just do like play video games, go for a walk, do work out, um, watch anime. I love anime. I hope you guys like anime too. I mean, it's, it's good to watch. And then- Lots um, of people do. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And my most favorite of doing self-care is having tea time with your friends. Believe me, when I was stressed out with, um, when I did, uh, uh, when the one time I did my uh, final exam for business mathematics, I actually cried out to Tati. I was like, we need tea time now. <laughs> so I recommend just have tea time with your close friends to do like, um, do small fun activities or just vent a lot or just do something and just help ease, help like, whew, like you know just let it yeah. out but after that after all of that I'll, after taking a break and um and have tea time just you can go back where you where you start so <laughs> yeah so. It, it works it works well so i can guarantee <laughs> and you, if you haven't ever have a chance to go achieve uh, achieve building in the access service there's so big stuff animal his name is mr moose <laughs> He, give him a big hug because he will help release all the anxiety and stuff like that. I, I yeah. do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, and we are moving to a new office in building 25. It's a library. I think it's a fifth floor. So we're <laughs> almost done with remodeling the office for us. So I hope sometime during the winter quarter we will move in and we will take all those animals, stuff animals with us. So feel free to come and just benefit from that. Thank you, Juliana. <laughs> okay, so Anika. Oh my goodness, I love it. So many great tips. I mean, this is so, so helpful. Um, I actually have a quote about self-care and it's by also Jim Quick. And he says, self-care, self-love is not selfish. And to me, this is so important. My self-care routine is actually kind of quirky. Um, I definitely have a routine such as I have to have boundaries. I go to bed early every night so I can get up early and win the day so I can make a to-do list, so I can practice gratitude, so I can just have a moment to just kind of be present with myself. One of the things I'm working on is actually, I heard from a lot of motivational speakers, this is one we don't do. We, we make a to-do list, but what we should also be doing just as important, if not more, is making a not to-do list, a not to-do list of all the things that you're not going to do, things that you're going to say no to others or say no to yourself. And this is really important. And my last tip, something that I practice is I just love to be around positive, happy, fun fun people. And I think this is so important because when we're around too much negativity, even such as on the news or on social media, that energy kind of sinks into us. 
So I think for self-care, it's just so important to be around positive, happy, loving people. Be around your high, be around Highline. You know, I go to Highline College because I'm around amazing, supportive, positive, happy people. And that's what helps me. Hey, Joey, how do you handle self-care? Well, well, besides my work, uh, I like to do powerlifting, singing, dancing, acting, and drawing. Uh, that is how I handle self self care and what I'm doing this environment to maintain balance. Thank you. Great, I know you you like to sing and. When I remember you like two years ago when you just started your uh, beginning voice class, I think it was the beginning, yes. voice, right? Yes. And then uh, I know you're okay with me sharing a bit that you had an anxiety scene in front of the class, right? And I remember we work on those tips that your instructor provided you on Canvas, how to manage that anxiety when you stay in front of your classmates and you need to sing. Even if you're not a professional singer, right? You never did it before, but you just like to sing. And then how to manage that shyness and anxiety and your when your heart is racing and and you did it. I'm actually impressed. And then then last uh, spring, you sang at the portfolio showcase. It was awesome, Joey. Oh, I wish yeah. you could sing today, but we didn't plan it. So, but if I would, I would like, I would like to, I would like to sing, uh, to sing you, to sing you guys a song. It's today. Just, yeah, today. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let just finish with questions, and maybe you can close our like, kind of you know the question activity part. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If you're okay with that and you really want to sing, I I think we would be happy to hear it. Huh? What do you think, guys? Yeah? Okay, so think about it, Joey. Oh, awesome. Okay, now I just don't know what to do next. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh I think what I need to do is change the slide. Okay. Okay, next question. What can we do to better what can we do better at Highline? to help students to find their joy and keep it. One thing I would do is check in with your friend, check in with your friends and uh, and other students like to see if if they're doing if they're actually doing okay. Like what's keeping find out what's keeping them from being the person that they are or being positive. Because being positive enables an, an individual to do wonderful things, wonderful things. Yeah, and I remember we talked about this question before, and I liked it what you said. Uh, I don't know if you remember what you said. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. That's, that's exactly what would help us as a college staff and employees and administration, all of us to help you to find your joy and keep it. And I remember you said something. Share your problems. No, no, like what we can do, like college employees, instructors, staff, the president, the vice presidents, all of the administration, like all of us, how to help you guys, how to help students to find your joy. I know we do our best and we do great, you know, and we have such a great support at Highline, but like in general, what we should do like every day, every time, what we should think about, like always, that helps you to find your joy and it helps you to keep it with you. And you said, yeah. just talk to us, right? Just and, uh, go seek help from like your professors. No, no, like... I mean, Mahat, I mean like what we can do, what I can do as instructor and what the oh. college president, yeah, what, for example, college president, Dr. Mosby can do. Uh, or the vice presidents or the other staff at Highline, what see, they can do to help you to find the joy. See that, see the problem. Like in other words, find out what's keeping that person, what's preventing that person from becoming positive. Hmm. 
Yeah, and then that's what you're saying. So in other words, that what you just told me when we had a meeting before. Well, uh, I, you, I don't remember. I know, I know, but I remember, and I will remember it forever, probably because it was perfect. So you said, just talk to us, and just yeah. ask us. Yeah. You said, like, just talk to us and ask what we like to do, what that's movies right. we watch, and what games we play, and yeah. what do we like? And it was just perfect for me. I will use this in my advising yeah. uh, practice, you know, because that's really, we like usually we think about the big things, you know, and those kind of small things, but they're not small. This is yeah. your thing. So this is that's you, right. the part of you. What do you like? What do you watch right now? What you're interested in? And because the world is changing and youth is changing, right? That's right. And it's that's what is on the table right now. Trends what are changing too. With? Yeah. Trends so, are changing. Friends? Trends. T R E N D S. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Trends. <laughs> yeah, trends. That's that's exactly it. That's right. So what do you like right now? Like what are you thinking right now? What are you reading right now? So exactly. that's a very good tip, and I think it is worth attention. And shout so, out, go ahead. Go ahead. And shout out to my chief advisor, Ellie Cassett, who's in the audience. I know, <laughs> I know you, I know you're watching this, Ellie. Oh, shout do. out to you. We always talk <laughs> about and there's something. <laughs> shout yes. out to Ellie. Ellie is awesome. I know how she how much she helps you guys. And uh, yeah, and then she always asks you these questions. So uh, thank you, Ellie. We appreciate you. Okay. That's right. So next, Austin, what do you think we can do better at Highline to help students to find their joy and keep it? Uh, thanks for the question. Um, so, and before I graduated in 2015, um, Highline College and my still to this day job, uh, not job coach, soccer coach, Fuzi, we started a unified club and I'm uh, the first, for, on a first team of athletes who brought the trophy back and brought to Highline to, to, to have the trophy to Highline College G program. And uh, we were thankful and just keep on helping Athletes, students, staff members keep the joy. Is uh, spread the aloha and uh, keep drawing on the drawing board of what your joy is and what you want to do in life and have fun and all to remember to have fun and keep smiling. So that's that's uh, the fun, that's to students who need help finding their joy. Keep smiling and uh, keep going and keep staying positive and. Uh, if you want to join a unified club, I don't know if they have it this year, but um, unified will help you and your movement grow. And we're always looking for new and incoming athletes to join the unified. So that's that's the way that I keep joy. And that's my advice to whoever listening on this call and future and future students and athletes to join unified. Thank you. Great, Juliana. What we can do better? Uh, what can we do better? I might, um, hopefully I answer this correctly, but <laughs> um, to me, I think to make it better is just make them feel more welcome, make them feel like this is a safe uh, environment to be themselves and also um, bring more awareness of intro, um, um, inclusions of, about the, um, with the disability community. Um, students with learning disabilities or and um, intellectual disabilities are people too and we wanted the same dream and we have and we have the same goals to make and want to make into a reality so yeah and you, you Juliana is a great example and role model for all students in Highline College mm -hmm. and as you had some uh, struggles you know with uh, going to college that you shared that due to your learning disability, it was hard for you to get into college program. And when you got it, you just, you graduated with highest honors with 4.0 for your AAS, right? 
Yes. So something's wrong with that, right? <laughs> it's something, <laughs> not with that, but I mean, it's something so that you are not able to, you know, to get into the college program at the beginning for some reasons, evaluations or whatever it is. So now yeah, you I just... that all of that stuff was wrong, right? With learning disability diagnosis, you were in the BAS program and you were like part stuff part-time stuff right now you were tutor and you were ta for miss boyd right yes see <laughs> you're a teacher basically <laughs> so with learning disability so even as a tutor a cool, right so you, it's it's such a great example so we all are capable to do what we want to do it doesn't mean what it, you know the paper says Right. Right. So, that, that, that darn paper. <laughs> it's just on the paper. So that's what we see every day in our program. And we don't really, you know, okay, now I just want to say everything correctly. <laughs> so we just work with students, not with papers. Okay. Let's say that. And uh, we believe in all our students, and all our students do super awesome. And Juliana is uh, one of the examples. And we're so proud of you, Juliana. And Lanika. What do you think we can do better with Highline to help students to find their joy and keep it? Yes, I, I think just this question alone, the fact that Highline, our community, is just asking this question is the step. It, it just shows how empowering, how meaningful and amazing this school is. What I, I kind of made up this quote and I wrote, our school building, our school walls, they may be built, but our school is always growing, is always learning and always building because it's not this, just the students that are learning and finding and keeping their joy, but it's also the staff. It's everyone. We are all learning through each other. And one way I think we can expand is by continue doing things like this, having discussion, having different voices be brought to the table, but more than that, right? Because oftentimes we throw around the words like use your voice and inclusion, but Highline is so awesome because we are proactive about it all. And we're trying to find ways to include everyone. And what's important is making everyone, every student feel mat like they matter, they valued, and that they know that they bring something to Highline community. It is them that brings something to this community. And that's how we can keep expanding joys and finding passions and helping everyone along their path. Shelly? Well, I would like to tell you all that it is very helpful if you could give students with disabilities enough time to adjust to the college environment, some students need more time to learn how to be a, a college student, and some students need to take a class more than once to understand the material. But all of them can be successful in their own way and find their own joy. That is what we can do better at Highline to help students to find their joy and keep it. Thank All you. Right. Awesome. So uh, it's time for a break, but we're not done with our questions. So <laughs> hmm. I have a question to our uh, amazing Doris Martinez like what should we do if we can continue or we should take a break right now let's go oh. Doris <laughs> uh, thank you thank you um I'll leave it up to the panelists how are our panelists feeling energy wise do you guys need a break or you can just finish with the question let's keep the show rolling Okay. In that case, we'll keep the show rolling. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> great. Okay. Very Fire quick. away, Tatiana. Very <laughs> quick. Okay. When do you feel supported? What does that look like? Didn't we answer this question? No, I don't think so. 
No, we what? didn't. We skipped it. <laughs> Did oh, we? we skip it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so who wants to answer? Maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 I thing. got you. Okay. Well, it means like you have to. It means like a great support system. Like at, at like I mentioned earlier. My chief advisor Ellie, and there she's a she's a wonderful, wonderful human being, and she supports me like like every week we uh, chat about like what's going on during class and like and she checks on like how am I doing? My mother Sophia, who came here to the United States in the mid '90s and like to help and uh, find and uh, better opportunities for me and my and uh, five siblings. My uncle and uh, my various uncles and aunts who live all over the world, they call me to see how, 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 how am I doing so far, physically, mentally, and uh, uh, emotionally. So it's all about having a great support system. That's what, like, that's what support should look like. And that, Sometimes it looks like that. Thank you, Mahad. Anyone else wants yeah. to answer or you want to move to the next question? Oh, I oh, can go. Okay, Jolie. Uh, my turn or Austin? <laughs> I'll go first. Um, okay. So while I was at Highline, I received great support from a chief program and the the peer navigators and uh, they showed me wonderful support and um, even the Highline community on campus showed me support and I'm grateful and thankful. And um, I have something to, that I wrote and uh, says, it goes like this, people with disabilities are fun to have around. We like being included. We have a special power from another universe and that's something I wrote and I wanted to share with you all today, so. Oh. I like it, I like it. Yeah, okay, next question then. Olenika, do you oh. have something to add? May I, may I answer? Oh, Joey, yeah, I'm sorry. Go it's ahead. okay, it's okay. Um, for me, it's when I feel free to ask any questions and I know that nobody will judge me. And that's when I do feel supported. And what does that look like to me? Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, Lenika, you wanna add or? Yes, um, I feel so supported at Highline. I just wanna share actually kind of my own personal example, uh, being a student. And it was actually while we were remote. I'm also a mom and my kids were also doing school at home. And I had to attend a class and a meeting. And I said, I am so sorry, professor, but my little daughter, she's three or she's four now, but she was three at the time. I was just like, there's nothing I can do. Uh, please forgive me. I wanna be able to have my camera on, um, but she is in the background. And what he said to me is this, he said, Lanika, this is Highline. We meet everyone where you are. We meet you where you are. We meet students where you are. We meet staff members. This is high lane. We adapt, we adjust, and we go through the process together. And to me, I felt so supported, so welcomed, so so ready to learn and grow. It, I love this school so much. Thank you. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy, guys, that you share all this stuff. And I feel so excited and lucky to be part of this community. And I have one more question for you. What advice would you give to students who are new or who haven't found their joy, path, or calling yet, or who experience and listen to the naysayers or the voices inside of ourselves that tell us we cannot. All right, for the for the, all the current and future students of Highline, and uh, take this note. Just ignore all the naysayers. Like for example, like in uh, 
and I'll use an outside example. During the 2012 NFL draft, many analysts on, on sports shows were saying that quarterback Russell Wilson is not going to win like a championship. And he's too small to play in the NFL. Russell, he, he didn't care. He brought, the, he brought the Seattle Seahawks their first Super Bowl championship. And that's, and that's just one of many examples of like ignoring the naysayers because they don't know who you are. You know, you know what you believe in and what you stand for. Use that to fight for what you fight and uh, to be successful. Stay strong and stay positive. And if you see someone in a, uh, who and uh, who is uh, struggling to be positive? This is why I tell people all the time: What's going on? Break their street of negativity. Thank you, Mahad. Yeah. Austin, what is your advice? Well, we all came to college to come to a for, look for a career. Well, Achieve had the great um, job coaches. They helped me with the look for a job. And after I graduated, I went back to the job agency and the uh, wonderful Miss Brenda Kim helped me get a job. And uh, I'm happy where I'm at with the job and I'm gonna keep staying positive. And uh, I don't listen to the namesayers because they don't know who I am and I delete the negativity out of my life and keep staying positive. And for people um, who are new and coming to campus, um, draw, if you have a path, go to start first, start with the drawing board and work with your wonderful social support, whoever that may be, and let them know. Or like Tatiana, can I use you for an example? Yeah. And uh, if Tatiana approached you in the Achieve program, your first day of visit, and she asked, hey, um, John, who do you want to, what do you want to accomplish in life? And she, she or Jenny or Julie will help you with that. And Juliana will too. And uh, we will, they will all put the puzzle pieces together and help you out with, help you out, be successful and guide you down to the right path and they'll tell you stay positive and keep going. Thank you. Great, thank you, Austin. Juliana, what is your advice? Well, for the advice for students who's new students or, or for, for people who's having difficult times, um, just, from, um, just find your resources, find the people who believes in you and wants you to grow and become a successful, a successful person. And, um, and also believe in yourself. Um, and um, and there was one there was one uh, once there was once someone told me it was <laughs> I didn't believe me I think this one of these days is going to be the most famous quote. <laughs> uh, one day um, I was in the class with other classmates and we have an instructor who amazing instructor and from the chief program back when I was first starting it and she told us each one of us and, and she wanted to say us out loud and her quote is I'm and she wanted to say it. I'm supposed to be here and I'm smart enough. Yeah, and uh, I know who was that first one? It was Julie. Yes. Julie Pollard. Yeah. Which I still believe that till this day, Julie. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Shout out That's to awesome. Julie Pollard. Yep. <laughs> okay, Lenika. What I would say is this Highline is the place where we can all become the best versions of ourselves. What I would say, say to students is this, advocate for your journey. This is your journey. This is your chance to tell your story and to become the, your own leader and do what you want to do because at Highline you matter and this is a place for creation and you are part of it. As for the naysayers, I would just say, just come to Highline and leave them right? Because you are going to be surrounded by such strength, such inspiration, passions, 
and people that care for you and want to build connections and meaningful experiences. Hey, Joey. All right. Uh, the advice I would like to give to students who are new is to be success, be, be respectful, uh, be confident, uh, be yourself uh, always. And unless you, unless you can you can be a thunderbird, then always be a thunderbird. <laughs> uh, take notes. Uh, use a voice recorder to record other instructors lecture, use a peer navigator to help you and be a good college student in this Highline College. Thank you. Great advice you guys shared and thank you so much for that. So this is all everyone. So now it's time to ask questions in a Q&A section in the chat uh, or in the chat and uh, let's just if you want to hear more let's just ask our student presenters more uh, thank you panelists for uh for being here today and sharing your experiences so as we didn't take a break so we um, we can just if you're not tired and if you still have the joy in you <laughs> we can move straight to the questions and just let's get it done Right? Okay, so um, now we will start the questions with the questions for our student panel. So uh, we have some great questions and feel, please feel free, to, feel free to submit more questions in the Q&A feature at the bottom of the screen as we move along. So, and I have Jeff here who will help me with the question part right jeff yes i'm here okay um, and what question do you want to answer we can take a five minute break to post questions probably in the chat more or if you just have a question to text text right now to the chat we'll be looking for your questions and um, I see Tatiana, yeah. we have two questions right now. Okay. All right. Uh, so I can uh, as the first one, this one is pretty interesting. Um, so one the first question is what are your favorite animes or any other shows to watch? Hmm. Interesting. And I know who will answer that first. Juliana. <laughs> There is so much. I so far I know my very first anime show in a long time is Sailor Moon, one of the favorite TV series. And um, lately, hmm, I think there's a recent show. I know um, it's pretty good. It's called the uh, Dragon Slayer, and then there's another one, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Are a pretty good series. Series. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyone else? I'll go. Okay. Well, although, although I'm not a big fan of anime, but I do like certain TV shows. Like, for example, The Equalizer. It stars Queen Latifah. It's one. It is the go out of all drama action shows. The Equalizer. Okay. We have a question from Karen. Can you guys talk about the work you do, you're doing right now? And that's a great question, Karen. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Austin, what about you? What work are you doing? Okay, I knew that was coming at me. Um, <laughs> so I, uh, I put together the puzzle pieces and landed a job at Microsoft and I'm an assistant um, project coordinator, and I also, in 2016, I began working on the Common Area Reset Team, and there are a few Achieve students that are on my team as well, and uh, it's a great 
working on Microsoft is a great experience and I'm thankful for to be a formal Highline College class of chief student class of 2015 and I'm gonna keep on going with my journey and I'm uh, I'm thankful. Thank thank you. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Juliana, you already shared that, but very quick, one more time. Uh, currently, well, currently I'm working as a, a lab tech as a tutor at Highline to help students in the art and design program. Uh, my job is to help students with their homework assignments and also if they need help with software with Adobe softwares and stuff. So even um, I have the um, opportunity to do some um, small marketing kind of like posters or flyers for uh, for the art and design program as well. So, so. Mm -hmm. thank you. And Joey? What's the question again? So what what are you doing right now? What job? Where do you work? Oh, um... What I'm doing right now is finding a jo job. I found a job already. I work at the uh, at Lowe's in the Pacific Highway South Kent, which is near at Highline College and my home. Uh, Lowe's is very supportive because uh, they know how they know how to help people with disabilities like me. I. I like working there and I learn new skill, skills there and I am more confident. And uh, in Lowe's, I, I am a front end loader and I, what I do, I, I took out the carts outside around the parking lot, uh, watering the plants in the garden and uh, help the customers who needs help and yeah that's that's why i'm doing that now thank you thank you joey so i know lenika you want to share yeah so i'm a peer navigator for achieve at highline college i i love it so much i I help other students, um, just kind of like we talked about, right? Uh, find their passions, get connected with campus, get involved on campus, uh, assist them in classes, and of course, overall, just help them to realize their unlimited uh, potential. Thank you. You're great. Thank you guys for sharing. Mahad is still working on his job. He's, he just joined our program this quarter. That's right. Um, yeah. So do you know when you will be doing your internship, Mahad, or not yet? I will be getting that in the new year. Great. That's awesome. right. Yeah. It's a, students... really, it's a really great place, too. Mm -hmm. It's in South Center, near Costco. Oh. Great. So I just want to uh, clarify that our students, the part of the program is the internships based on student interests. So they share with their employment specialist what they would like to do for life and they they find a place for them to try to do the job and do the internship and it's paid internship so they're very well prepared to uh, for their future job when they graduate achieve okay so we have another question uh, jess do you want to take that question sounds good um so we have a question from nicole uh, so how long does it take you guys to graduate? Well, it depends on and not only on the achieve, but like, like which courses are you taking? What do you want to graduate from? Because some courses and will require you to take and a one will take you more than a year to graduate or two or three or whatever the case may be. So it really depends on and, uh, what you're studying. Mm -hmm. For how about you? Well, for me, since I'm studying computer science, hopefully I could graduate within the next two to three years, God willing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Juliana. I had to agree with um, 
Mahad on that. It depends on what uh, career uh, goal that you're going through and stuff like that. Since when I first came to Highland, it um, it took me uh, two years to get my chief certificate, uh, my chief uh, certificate, and along with three years to get my associate's degree. Depending of how how much process that you put in there, usually um, um, some students will take like two to three classes or um, or depends on their pace and their limit um, how much um, load they put on their um, on their schedule and stuff um, right uh, for me um, since I'm getting my bachelor's I should be my I have five more classes to go so I should be the goal is to graduate by uh, spring in 2022 so that is the goal yeah you're almost there I know. <laughs> Can't yeah, believe it. <laughs> and Lanika? I agree with Juliana and Mahad. I think it depends on your own personal journey. I know for me, I've been at Highline for six years. Uh, when I first came here, I was working on my AA in human services. And my rule of thumb for my personal journey is I only take two classes at a time. I suppose that's my other self-care tip. You, you know what you can do. And for me, I've just taken two classes at a time and I should be graduating um, after this winter quarter. And Joey, you already... What's the question again? Graduated, so how long for you to graduate? But you already graduated Highline, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I already graduated uh, Highline College last summer. Um, I I like I like work. I I like going to Highline College and I know. taking like uh, taking any classes that I'm interested. Uh, and yeah, and yes, and and I agree, and I agree with uh, uh, Mahad and Juliana and. And uh, Lanika, Lanika um, that it depends on your, it depends on your journey. Yeah, do you guys, for those who already graduated, it's uh, Joey and Austin. So who was your favorite instructor when you were at Highline? Do you remember the names or are you already like, oh. <laughs> um, well, well, I remember. Well, I remember. I remember the the guy the guy who teach the guy who teaches us about archaeology. Um, his name is uh, uh, Doctor Lonnie Summer. Okay. Uh, he was uh, he was a great teacher. Uh, he uh, he helped he helped me because of the great explanations. He have uh, and and yes, I I'm interested of archaeology. I've been studying archaeology for my whole life, and uh, and uh, and and my and the next and the next instructor I remember at public speaking. Um, her name is uh, her name is uh, Kara Stewart. Kara Stewart, uh, she's nice. She uh, she teaches us about uh, public speaking skills, and uh, I rem and I remember I I uh, perform I perform and give a speech to the audience about uh, uh, a First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution speech, and it was. I think the eye contact, I think my eye contact is really what well, is really well. I sometimes I nervous, I'm getting nervous and um, sometimes I look, sometimes I, I sh click the share screen and show to the audience my, uh, my power, PowerPoint. And sometimes it's hard, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to look at the audience on Zoom, and sometimes I sometimes I read it, 
Yeah. That's a good, that's a good way to present. Yeah, thank you, Joby. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And Austin, do you want to answer the question or you pass? Absolutely. I'm going to answer that question. Okay. Well, I have uh, a whole bunch of classes. Uh, first of all, the capstone, because at the end of the year and our time at Highline, we get to share our presentation to family, friends, and the whole Highline community who we invited. And uh, I like, I enjoyed being, going to the library and uh, getting filmed for interview skills. So I use that skill that I use, and I use that skill that I presented on the video and in everyday life. And my other favorite class is uh, Zumba and balanced work in life. And I'm thankful that I took those classes. And um, most importantly, the last one is Music Life 101. I got to sing a solo piece and I think it was building seven across from the Brewster outside that big dome. And uh, everyone liked the performance and I'm happy that I became a great talented artist I am today and I'm thankful. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Have another question uh, for students who are new to our community. How did you, how did or do your build, uh, okay. how did you build your community at Highline or how do you build your community at Highline? Well, I can answer this one because mm -hmm. in, uh, since in, uh, I started at Highline, uh, the first uh, the first thing I would check in, the first in, uh, community I was able to build was through my achieve and uh, colleague, classmates, peers. Because from four days of the, four days of the week, I, I do I uh, attend a class with uh, seventeen other peers of mine. And we really share our experiences together and like see like what can what what do we agree on and what we do not like and i apply that same strategy to with my other classes too that's how you really build a community it's all about like like getting to know one another you know what i'm saying yeah Thank you. And there Ilana. you go, Unified Club. I love that, <laughs> Austin. <laughs> okay, so Juliana, how did you build your community? Mm, at um, well, first off, it's a course from G of G program. And to build more communities, I would recommend to check out their uh, CLS uh, clubs. So like check out they have um, um, students um, has these really cool clubs when I was um, on the, when on the campus they used to have like cooking club anime club um, crochet and knitting club um, that's one way to build like really cool and amazing uh, communities that's what would be a good start and also best way to make friends too <laughs> yeah and who else, Lenika? You're not new to our community, but maybe you, you, you want to share how you built your community at Highline. How I built my community at Highline, I would definitely say, you know, you build that community like, like you mentioned, Juliana, through going through clubs. Uh, for me, it was connecting uh, with everyone in my class. I. You know, a lot of times the professors will have you do discussion boards. And this is such a great way for us to be able to connect and hear each other's different stories. That's what I love about Highline so much. We're so diverse. We all have different stories. And through the class, right. yeah, through class, you're making meaningful connections with your peers and your professors. That's how I built my community because I felt safe. I, I felt like I mattered and just inspired. 